Hello there. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to install and configure a nested uh, virtualization on uh, Google Cloud Platform. First of all, sorry about the audio. It's because it's kind of late in here. My family is asleep, so I have to be a little silent. So I'm sorry about the background noise. I had to. Uh, bring the gain up a little bit so it's capturing a little bit of my coolers but it's better than not being able to hear me at all am I right so first things first we're gonna make a new VM for uh, that purpose so we're gonna click on create instance and um, here's where we actually get to select the RAM specifications we need a pretty beefy rig for virtualization so I might as well go with uh, 3 gigs I could go with more but there is a little problem which is the cost so it's a lab for fun like we want to spend a lot of money uh, 26 uh, cents of dollar for an hour sounds like a fair price I only got eight vCPUs, so yeah, I think that's definitely the best option for us. Even though we could probably go for, holy shit, look at that, nah, nah, never mind, forget about that. <laughs> it's a lot of money, we can't afford that. Ooh, this one's actually better, 26 gigs. Oh shit, okay, it's not letting me, for, uh, for what's going on? I think my mouse double clicking, no it's not, what's going on here? Uh, let's go with uh, eight with 26 yeah 26 pretty good so hourly cost of just 16 cents of dollar decent so you gotta change the image though to a custom one here you go nested VM image you have to uh, there's a uh, the Google website has a bunch of uh, tips on that on how to make your custom nested image because you have to enable nested virtualization first so it's a nested ready image because if you go with a normal one it's not gonna work because the cores are not ready so you ain't gonna be able to use KVM probably not gonna be able to use QMU as well so make sure to make your nested VM so we're gonna go with 60 gigs standard could go with an SSD as well, it's probably more money though. Yeah, it's a little more. Of course it's more. SSD, SSD, holy shit, yeah. That's more. That's definitely more. But then again, uh, SSD is gonna make a, a huge difference when it comes to the VM boot times and overall uh, usability of the system it's gonna be way stampier and that's what we need we need a very 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 fast system so yeah allow for uh, default asset access yeah that's okay uh, one thing that we're gonna make sure of is um, the CPU platform it has to be Haswell it has to be because then that's the only way we could actually use virtualization so we got to make sure it has well or later and we got to allow HTTP traffic HTTPS let's make sure uh, okay rest is okay we don't need any more of that settings are oh let's change that to nested uh, lab nested labs a cool name South Carolina what if we switch to Northern Virginia never mind Iowa hmm I guess South Carolina it is okay so it's a Haswell all right and uh, we can click on create I think we are more than ready now so let's create it Oof, it's gonna take quite a bit of time. We can just sit back and wait. 
because you know there's a lot more it's just the start that's just the very start that's just the tip of the iceberg she got nested virtualization to work as it should so I'm gonna go with Proxmox instead of just pure KVM because I think it's easier to manage it's way more manageable it's just me though uh, you know it's up to you it's down to personal preference after all so we're gonna make SSH access to the system there you go it's just for any keys as you can see right there make sure to bring it up here oof 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 there you go so that's let's just change oh never mind just make sure it should be super user first and then we change to root um folder location so we are a uh, super user now and we are in the root folder as you can see so we have root access now which is the important step now we have to do in a uh, we have to add the proxmox repo which is quick oh shit i did it twice control z it is oh it doesn't work fuck my life West, 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 West. That's it, yeah. Let's read them quick. Now we add the key. It's pretty straightforward. Now we do the basics. APT got update and upgrade. It's gonna be quick as fuck because, you know, it's a brand new image, so I'm pretty sure it's updated. There you go. That's the part actually it takes a bit. But there is a lot more. Trust me, there's a lot more. She go. She got nested virtualization to work as it should. But it's worth it though, because you have you can have your own VM lab for free with the three hundred dollars credit for twelve months, so it's a lot of time you mess around with VM skip the local version currently installed yeah this one yeah I don't want to install grub sure yeah that's the device no shit oh shit I forgot you click on yes <laughs> my bad there you go it's better sorry guys I'm a little tired as you guys can notice but don't worry it's not it's not gonna be an issue so next is actually getting Proxmox installed. I don't even know if that's the right way to spell it, but I think so. I'm sorry, I'm not a native speaker. You guys might have noticed it. Uh, no configuration. Let's just not bother with that. Not, not right now. It's not important. I mean, it is, but it's just a, a lab for fun. So we ain't gonna bother with any of that right now. Oof. Just install any, any, any users. You should use your root account with your Linux root password. It's like demo authentication. You should log in. Great. Oh Jesus. <clears throat> I hate not being able to scream. Or at least speak louder. But yeah, perks of living with human beings sharing the same apartment. So we gotta, you know, just be quiet. Eat it up and be quiet. And as you can see, it's not too bad. Other than, as you can hear, I mean, other than the background noise, you know? I, I would even remove it, but like, too much work I just want to get it up uh, the tutorial thingy up and running so yeah 72% great and yeah it takes takes quite some time it depends on your computer so if you got more cores if you got more RAM it's gonna be different 
it's going to be way different. Hey, we're almost there now. We're almost, almost there. Next things log into the interface and having fun with Proxmox. Oh, we got to set a password as well for the root. Uh, something that I forgot. Fully, fully forgot about that. We need the password. Because by itself, it's just the SSH key. So we can't do shit with that key. We have to add a proper password. Which is an easy fix, nonetheless. So we got it, boys. We kind of got it. 99%. Come on. Come on. I know you can be bigger than that. Come on, come on, come on, my boys. Jesus. Stimer. Simlink. Yeah, it's a long install. Make sure to have some free time before I actually start doing that. Because it does take time. But the result is pretty damn good. That's something undeniable. Undeniable, undeniable, undeniable. Oh my god, I'm... I've been dying. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're kinda almost done. So first of all, can we move the kernel? For the Debian kernel? Yeah. Remove. And we have to update grub. Just to make sure that the system is gonna boot. So I think uh, the web page is working now, the web interface, let's just make sure. So the IP is right there, I can copy that, 8000, uh, I think it's, yeah, it says it's H though, I forgot about that, so HTTPS, oh, privacy, yeah, uh, fuck that shit, I don't care, proceed. Oh, I forgot to set a password. Oh god. Okay, that's bad. So we go uh, sudo password. We, we enter a no password. A no password. There you go. PAM standard authentication. Cool. Yeah. And we type a password in. And we save username because why not? And we are in the VM, as you can see, uh, nested lab summary. See, we got 26 gigs of RAM. We got plenty of space, SSD space. We got four Xeons with 2.3 gigahertz each, four cores. Well, that's definitely enough for virtualization. So. As you guys can see, it's pretty damn simple to get uh, virtualization to work in um, Google Cloud Platform. So now it's up to you. You upload an ISO file and install, or you could just uh, wget <laughs> a file for yourself, which is actually faster. So like, first of all, you gotta make sure where uh, local files are uh, the disk files are I mean so you go here local content templates I wonder if it shows up where it is permissions nested lab mm. <laughs> upload templates what's the template Wow, look at that. Arc Linux download. Oh, you have a bunch of templates. Look at that. Yeah, we could definitely try. With Debian, Ubuntu, OS, Debian 9, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Cool. Hell yeah, it's trusty. Default image for. Let's go with Debian, of course. Standard download. Telequick. Wow. Damn. That was that was impressive, impressively quick. So we have the image here. We have to open the container though, uh, or can we load up a VM from this file? I wonder. 
let's see, create VM, nested lab, uh, Debian. I'm, pre I'm not sure it's possible, to be honest, the storage mm, doesn't show up. Yeah, I know it. Use physical drive type Linux, use CD, physical, and then I use any media. Okay, let's try something else. Can we actually obtain your template? It didn't work. As you can see. I was like, oh shit, it's that an ISO downloader? I didn't read it was a container, but props for trying, I guess. It's just, does it tell where it was downloaded? So, oh yeah, there you go, template. So here's where it goes, kind of cache. Saving to, and then it's moved. Now it's, it wasn't moved actually. But yeah, I think that's where we can download stuff to. So that's the, that's the photo we got. Let's try. Here we are. Uh, let's change directory. It's not letting me other. Oh crap, it's not letting me control C, control V. Come on. Has to be a joke. Oh, it's the fucking Google thingy. It's Google Translate uh, app thingy messing around with me, which is not cool. I forgot to. A CD, there we go. We can list. And it's in there, as you guys can see. So we can probably get a download in there. So let's see. Uh, Debian download. Uh, network install. Yeah, I could do it. I could go with a network install. Stable release. AMD64. So how do I use this files? AMD64. That one's cool. Yeah, let's get the link for it. There you go, I think we got it. Now we better go back to this part. Look at that. Hello quick. Okay, not quite as quick <laughs> as the first one, but twenty three out five that's pretty damn fast. All things considered. Could have been far worse. So that's where we are supposed to save the ISO files. Hmm. Okay. Mm sounds like fun so yeah there you go so we don't have a network bridge so our vms ain't gonna have network as you can see we don't have a bridge like whenever i try to add a bridge it kind of brick the whole thing so i'm not gonna bother with that right now nested lab yeah debian okay so nested storage oh come on come on how come it's not showing up in there even though i made the download are you serious are you serious with me content or show configuration restore okay so maybe it's not stored in there permanently i think that's the problem so we downloaded the iso but it's not going to show up until there is no way to update the uh, cool. Hmm. Let's see. It took it took room there. It took room in there though. It definitely took room. It took some room in there. Um. Okay. You know what? I think that's it. I mean, main goal of the video was showing how to install. Um. Nested virtualization. I mean, inst installing a virtualizer. I went with Proxmox because why not? And we got it working, so I think that's the go of the video. Uh, if you guys want to see more on that, and you know, Broxmox uh, guys in general, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. So leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Adios.